Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how you get the DVAT plus IRC DDB plus VNC Jonathan Naylor image onto a Raspberry Pi. So you can use your DVAP dongle uh, connected to your Raspberry Pi to make uh, for a little uh, uh, hotspot, portable hotspot. First thing you want to do is buy an SD card, a class 10. It has to be a class 10. That's the highest transfer rate speed of an SD card as of now. Once you get the SD card, insert it into your computer. Go to the SD card on your computer. My computer. And go to your SD card right click on your SD card go down to format do a quick format start except that you're going to delete anything that's going to be on the SD card I do that even though they're brand new sometimes the factories end up putting a bunch of unnecessary promotions and other crap onto it you want to make sure it's completely white now it's completely white at this point also take note on what letter your SD card is. Mine is letter E as an echo. Yours might be different. That's very important. Write that down. Alright, once that's done, the SD card is ready and formatted. What you want to do is, anything I talk about in this video, I will have links to uh, in the description under the video. So you'll, you'll have you'll have all your information that you need. First place you want to go to is a website for uh, a download of when war. You want to download it right here. Uh, I'm not going to download it because I already have it downloaded. So download it, it's free. Once you have it downloaded, uh, when it's installing, there's a little box there that says uh, create a shortcut for desktop. If you do that after you're done installing it will show up on your desktop just like this. Okay. Next you want to go to uh, the Western D-Star webpage. Click downloads. Second from the top is the file you'll need the DVAP plus IRC DDB plus VNC. Click the blue link save it to your desktop this may take an hour it may take 20 minutes it all depends on how busy the server is I have already downloaded the file so I'm going to click cancel The file will be right here. DVAP plus IRC DDB plus VNC dot RAR. Alright, at this point you need to turn this dot AR RAR to a dot image file dot IMG. You'll open up the WinWar. It looks something like this. Drag over the dot uh, RAR file anywhere over here in the white spot release you want to click extract to uh, do the destination destination path to your desktop uh, all the settings that default settings are fine you don't need to select anything here click OK that is going to start converting your dot RAR file over into a .img file. Alright, while well, that's being processed, uh, we'll come back. Okay, the uh, .image file is done. Close out the program, open the folder that I created it in, uh, move the file onto your desktop, throw away your folder. So now you have 
your converted.rar file convert it over into an IMG file okay your next uh, next we, what you want to do is go to the Win32 disk imager click the green download link should automatically start in five seconds. If it don't, you can do a direct link or a mirror. Save it to your desktop. Okay, here's the file. That's your zip file for your Win32. At this point, you want to right click on your desktop, go to New, Folder. Name it whatever you want to name it. I'm naming mine uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. If I know how to spell. Open up the folder you just created and open up the zip 132 disk manager zip file. Open that up and you want to select all the files and move them over into the folder you just created. Throw away your zip file now. So here's all the Win32 disk imager files are all here. You also want to include both your files, your .image and .rar file. You really don't need the .rar file, but I keep that just for in case if my image file becomes corrupt, I don't have to re-download the uh, raw file. So you have three things in here both your DFAT files and all your uh, Win32 files in the folder that you just made. Next what you want to do is take your image file 